Hey everybody, it's Allie, and this is part two of the YNR Chat Vlog for Sunday, October 5th, in a different location, kind of digging it. Yeah, feel, feeling pretty comfortable. Um, let's talk about Restless Style, because we had a very sexy photo shoot this week. I loved it. I thought it was super hot. What was even hotter was Nick and Phyllis having their private photo shoot afterwards. Very hot. I thought it was extremely nice to see Nick and Phyllis back together again. We haven't seen them really connecting that much. It's been all about Restless Style and their feud with Jack and Sharon. So it was really nice this week to see them actually making that connection and, and getting it on, really, to be honest. That was a, that was a major selling point of the week for me. Phyllis's uh, a philosophy is when your man is stressed about his crazy father, taking off and uh, breaking out of a mental institution just blink his brains out. You know, I mean, I think it's a good way to deal with the situation. So bravo to Phyllis for taking care of her man. Now, this week we also had some lovin' establishing with Noah and Eden. There's a crush there. I like it. I think it's pretty cute. Um, I'm definitely warming up to these characters. I like the new Noah. I like Eden. I just want her to bring down the drama just one or two notches. Like it, it's just almost it's over the top just slightly. There there are times when I really like the character and I connect with her and then for instance when she got into the huge fight with Michael and Lauren this week it was just like ugh, child just bring it down a couple of notches can you please. Once she settles in which I think will happen, I think that she will be fine, and I think that she'll be a character that I can really enjoy. Poor Noah, though. I mean, I, 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 he, I don't know, the poor kid. He finally got to dance with this girl that, I mean, we all kind of knew there was going to be something there. Um, he got to finally dance with this girl, have some fun, go to a party, hang out with his friends, and he basically got framed. I mean, his friends didn't even tell him that that they were going to have this kegger and I mean, they they let Noah's dad talk to an older college brother. I mean, that was pretty risky. Those are not the kind of friends that Noah really needs to be having. Um, but I mean, clearly Noah is someone who is very easily influenced by his friends and by women, which basically He's just like his father in that regard. Um, he really should have turned around the second he realized that that was a drinking party, particularly since what had happened with Cassie, obviously. Um, but he didn't. He stayed, and he wanted a party. And, uh, yeah, I mean, it looked like he was having fun. Like, Eden stole his phone, and I had to, like, look twice at this, but did she put the phone down her shirt and tell him to come and get it? These kids are 15. <laughs> I mean, what was he gonna do? Ugh, I don't know. Did I misread that? I think she put it down her shirt and told him to come get it. Um, yes, these children are very advanced for their age. Um, but this whole, this whole storyline kind of reminds me a little bit of the Billy and Mac storyline when that first came onto the show. And I like it. I really, I, I generally do like both of these characters. And, uh, I, uh, I think when it, when it kind of starts to happen, it's going to be good. So, Noah basically screwed up though. Nick and Sharon freaking out. I don't know. Nick just, uh, Nick just runs to Sharon's side the second that anything is wrong with Noah, which is fine. What I kind of take issue with is I think that Sharon involves Nick a little too much for her own personal gain. What do you guys think about that? Did Sharon need to call Nick two minutes after Noah had not uh, been home from um, at his curfew time like I just I just think that Sharon kind of does it on purpose in a way to get closer to Nick maybe I'm wrong maybe she was I mean I'm sure she was genuinely concerned about the child but Jack was out of town and I don't know I just thought it was a little bit suspicious and not to mention the fact that once Nick and Sharon got Noah from the party brought him home Phyllis called on the phone and Sharon was a total bitch to her. I was really, really mad at Sharon. I, okay, Nick is in the middle of a conversation with Noah. That's fine. Phyllis called, asked to speak to her husband, and Sharon denied her the right to talk to her husband. 
as far as I'm concerned, I thought it, I give Phyllis the right to write that editorial on Sharon. I thought that was extremely, extremely rude of her. Um, however, I thought that the fantasy that, <laughs> that Phyllis had about Nick and Sharon together was, it was so hilarious. It was awesome and fun, and Sharon just basically playing this kind of dumb girl, like, oh, Nick, I really need you to help me change this light bulb that's outside of my bedroom, or maybe it's a light bulb right above the bed, and we'll accidentally fall onto it, fall on top of each other. It was a really cute little fantasy. Uh, I mean, it's nice to see. Yeah, I know there are still a lot, lot of Nick and Sharon fans out there, so for you guys, I'm sure that was really awesome. I prefer Phyllis and Nick. I really do. I want I want to see those two stay together. Um, but, you know, some mild flirting and some mild, um, um, I guess, doubt is okay. Um, but again, I don't blame Phyllis at all for writing that article about Sharon and Jack. Um, in fact, I think it's going to be pretty funny once it gets published. I have no idea how Phyllis is going to explain that to Nick, because I think Nick is going to be rather upset about it, um, especially when that's the kind of tactic that Jack used. She was pretty much chastising Jack and Sharon for doing things like that, but she was doing it too. She was slipping in this article at the end, didn't get approval from anybody, just slipping it in, which by the way, I thought that they put some kind of checks in place so that that wouldn't happen again, but uh, whatever, it's going to be funny. I'm sure Nick is going to hit the roof over it. Why, though, okay, here's something I don't understand. Why does everybody keep saying, they keep calling Sharon a hair-chewing child bride or something like that. What does that mean? Somebody, sh please help me clear that up. I googled it. I'm like, what does that mean? Hey, she's a hair-chewing child bride or something or something. I don't know. Maybe maybe the hair chewing has to do with youth because she did marry Nick very young. Um, or maybe I'm totally missing the point completely. But feel free to leave your text comments. Write it up. Do it up all over this video. I always love looking to see what you guys think about the show. So um, I think we're going to have a really exciting week ahead. So uh, I hope you enjoy watching the show and I hope you're enjoying watching these vlogs. Thanks to everybody who is subscribing and uh, I will see you next weekend. Bye!